Hey, what's up, guys? It's Ryan Shear here with Lyrics 1.3. This is the brand new iteration of our karaoke software designed exclusively for Mac. Because there are quite a few new features to cover today, I'm going to jump right into it. What you're going to notice right here on the skin, on both the default Lyrics skin as well as the Lyrics 12 skin that's built in to options, is a new slider that you can move left and right. This allows you to mute the guide vocal for multiplex karaoke tracks, tracks that have the guide vocal in either the left or right channel. So now you have a way to remove the guide vocal um, or apply it. Um, depending on the position of the fader, it also kind of adjusts the volume on that uh, guide vocal. So that's one of the new features found in 1.3. You're also gonna notice a brand new drop-down menu located at the very top of the software, uh, labeled Shader. Shaders allow for really stunning on-screen visualizations that you can display to the crowd, maybe when you're just running background music or um, between singers and sets as well. Uh, shaders can be downloaded from shadertoy.com um, and applied really easily by just clicking this menu up top and clicking the Add New Shader button. And you essentially just type in the URL of the shader uh, located at shadertoy.com and apply it and it will add the shader to the software. Shaders come in all shapes and sizes. Some of them are quite heavy on your GPU. Some are very light. So we recommend testing all shaders thoroughly before using them in the field. But we, we preloaded a few shaders in here. You can hit the drop down and select them. And essentially what will happen here, let me just show you real quick, is because they are drawn by your GPU in real time, the shader will move to the sink of the... So these are beat aware visualizations that you can now use in lyrics while just playing background music, which is really nice addition. Also, and this is kind of the big one, uh, you now have the ability to add key changes to songs when you're sending a singer and song to rotation. I'll demonstrate that for you real quick. We'll take a track, we'll double click it. As soon as I double click it, of course, it's gonna prompt you for the singer's name. Um, if you recall, if you drag a song on top of a singer that's already in rotation, all you have to do is hit enter because it'll pre-select their name. But you'll see a brand new box here at the bottom for song key adjust. You can now step that up and down. And the steps that are taken, uh, by default, they're in full semitone steps in options in lyrics under the general tab. You can select quarter to full semitone steps if you want to take smaller uh, adjustments. Um, so that's all there is to it. I'll apply a couple key changes. I'll key it up two semitones. Hit OK. And you'll see that I'm in rotation here with a plus two on the key, which indicates I've keyed it up twice. I'm going to move myself to the top real quick by double clicking myself in rotation. Now that I'm at the top of rotation, we'll click Load Next Singer. And what you'll see here is that the key is automatically adjusted down the volume but if, if you can see here in the deck the slider moves and in the deck section where key is represented you'll see plus two so that's all there is to it now another addition to the new key feature is that key changes are also now recorded in singer history so as long as you play the song for 20 full seconds and that's 20 seconds of audio not from the start of the track 20 seconds of audio the song the singer and the key change will re, uh, be recorded in singer history. So we can check that now. I'll just stop the deck. I'll go to my history list. Um, I'll just sort by karaoke. If you can see right here at the bottom of my history list, there I am. I'm right here. It shows me when it was loaded. Now if I take this track and add it back to rotation by simply dragging and dropping, I'll just put it on top of my name. As you can see, the, the song goes back into rotation with my name. I'll just show you one more time. I'll delete myself entirely from rotation. I'll just take this track, drag it over. It'll go right in, and it'll apply the key change. So if you recall, you know, you can bring up singers by simply typing in S colon my name. There's everything I sang. I don't have to type my full name. I can just type RY. It'll bring up everything by Ryan. And there's that track, right? So I can search my name, find the song I sang, and if I drag it back to rotation, it'll drag my name, the song, as well as the key change and apply it right there in rotation. So that's all there is to the new key setting. We've also got 
a way to export lists now. So if you want to create like a massive list, like say you add all your own songs from your hard drive into your database, I don't have any of my own karaoke tracks in here right now. I'm playing everything from the integrated party time karaoke subscription. But if you did have songs in here, I'll give you an example. Here we go. Here's a few in karaoke hits. I can right click on the list and you'll see an option to export playlist as a CSV file. You can also export playlists as M3U playlist files, which is a great way to back up playlists or move them from machine to machine if you have to. Uh, but with the export playlist as CSV, it'll take all your data, put it into a nice little spreadsheet format so you can open it up in a spreadsheet app like Excel or OpenOffice or something like that and quickly format it and print. Uh, so that's a quick overview of pretty much everything we've put into the new 1.3 version. I'll probably create a couple more videos in the near future that delve into these features a bit further. But for now, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Thanks.